go. And we are live. Good evening. Welcome to the stream. I am Corrupt2108. I am joined for commentary by my combat cohort. Guy1359, how are you? I am well, Ernie, and it is a pleasure as always. Yeah, this this time we're not we're not going to be shooting people in tandem. I'm going to be shooting people. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do this right now. Um, but actually, this is not the same game that you and I play normally on Friday nights. This is this is a game that I regularly play. Um, Hitman Three, and I. Rant and rave to, to you at probably nauseam about this game, <laughs> but uh, you know what? You love the game, and and I know that, and that, that's all there is to know about it. Yes. Well, tonight our target is the fugitive. Oh. Now, if you notice, his face is is all blacked out because he doesn't want to be seen. And to do this, we have to. Uh, since this is like now what the third time this has been reintroduced as a elusive target um, he uh, we have to pretty much like go on like clues on to how to find who this person actually is um, now the last time I played it I if memory serves I had to do like something else before like really I could I could kill him and then leave. But this time we just have to kill him and leave after we find out who he is. Okay. So seems simple enough. Yeah. Um however he always changes it, it, there's always an uh, like a like a like a change in location. So like you have um, an open outside area. Now, mind you, you're in the mountains of Japan where it's snowing. Okay? And, um, it's very, like, it's very pretty. You get to see, like, you know, the mountain and everything. It's, it's, it's a very pretty, like, landscape. However, it's very, um, like, open where, like, this, you know, if you're looking over, if if one of your targets is looking over the uh, the side of a rail, you can drop them like literally off the mountain. So uh. you know, they get a very they get a they get an awesome view until they meet their doom. Nice. Uh, nice. Right. So, okay. As always, we are going to start out with the video. Video briefing. Good morning, forty-seven. Your target is arrived at the Gamma facility in Hokkaido for facial reconstruction surgery. This gives us a window to engage, but the very nature of this surgery will make him difficult to identify. The clients are cooperating to gather information to identify the target, and I will relay this to you as I receive it. Be ready to improvise, however. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Okay, it said something about a special special notice that if I had to abort and replan, that it might be possible. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so first things first, I have to figure out... Huh, I could go in as the ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you should do it. Ugh. Okay, I can smuggle an item in, I know that. Do I know this thing? It's been a while since I played, since, since I actually did the mission in Japan, so it's like... Trying to get before Hitman 3 came out, I... Before Hitman 3 came out, I wanted to, I wanted to like get to level 20 mastery on this uh, on this one because I'm currently at level eight. <clears throat> okay. So, but um, 
trying to remember where the staff wardrobe is that I can use something. Um, because otherwise it's whatever it is I use is gonna be either loud or by some means of poison. Huh. Okay. Um. Probably won't get there, but uh, yeah, this is my plethora of weapons. You yeah, it's a plethora, all right. Wait, yeah, go well, back to that one pistol, that long nose pistol, real quick. Long nose, this one. That's the Taunton dart gun. Really? Yeah, at the dart gun. Is it? Does that have knuckle dusters? It does. <laughs> it's got it's got brass knuckles on as a as a handle. Yeah. That that it seems like a very fun gun to use. You know what? Never used it because I it was a unlock I got. I think maybe a few missions, like maybe a couple of um, escalation missions ago. I just never, I have never used it. Well, sounds like today's the day. But it's a dart gun, so I don't know if it's going to be like a sedative dart or a. Because it says it's a beautiful classic, classic conceived, uh, classic conceived dart gun made of rust-proof steel. Oh God damn it! Let's go. Thank you. Uh, possibly designed by a young Dr. Ortmeier, who was the person that created Doc, uh, Agent 47. Hmm. Um, but like I said, it's a, it's a dart gun. It doesn't tell me whether it's a sedative dart or a lethal dart. Well, you might be able to change it. If it's the... a sedative dart... Yeah. I still gotta find the damn thing in the staff wardrobe. You get it, you can have fun and then with of it. course of course you've got the serpent's tongue. Yep. Unique crossbow loaded with blinding darts. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> right? You, you know what they need to do? There's a particular huh. animal they need to add to this game as a weapon. The the <laughs> Canadian winged cobra. Okay. Also known to Americans as a goose. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean, that'll work, but it will. What? Yeah, you know what? Hell, we'll do. We'll, do, we'll, we'll try and find the you the have, uh, staff wardrobe. Okay. You have two silver ballers. Are those just standard pistols? Oh, those. Um. Yeah. Uh, I've got the Mark One and the Mark Two. Okay. Uh, suppressor, steady, steady aim, and uh, it's just got the Mark Two signature on it. It's the same gun, just with the sticker. Oh. Okay, I didn't know. So. I I've never played the game, so. Yeah. Um. Back in Hitman, like when it came out in. 2016, mm -hmm. you could only use the ICA-19 Black uh, uh, Black Lily. Mm -hmm. And then you got this gun. You got the the, silver, the uh, ICA-19 Silver Baller, like, halfway through the game. Okay. And it was like, okay, well, I'm gonna unlock, you know, if I unlock that, I'm gonna use that for the rest of the mission. Yeah, that didn't, that really didn't work. Yeah. Because it was just like, Agent 47 is known for dual wielding his silver ballers. Mm -hmm. 45, they're, uh, uh, 45, uh, A ACP. A yeah, ACP rounds. And they're, and he dual wields them. Mm -hmm. 
but you can't dual wield anything in this game. Which is good, because it'd be a lot of wasted ammo. Huh. So. Okay, so we're gonna do taunting dart gun just for funsies. Granted, I'm probably not gonna find it, because I'm gonna find the guy that we're looking for, and then it's gonna be like screwdriver in the eye, and then done. <laughs> So. You know what I don't understand is in all these games, and even in the two movies, nobody bothered to question when they see him walk past. Why does that guy have a barcode on the back of his head? That's a great question, and it's funny because there's a level in Hitman 3 mm -hmm. where you actually have to go up against you are you are now considered a rogue for the ICA, so the ICA are going are going after you in this game. Okay. So you actually meet, you actually have to like assume the role of a, of of someone, and then initiate a meeting with them. You're sitting down behind a desk. They you know the guy shows up and he brings all of his cronies with him. Like and it's ten or twelve dudes. Oh. And like you're talking da 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 da, da and like it just the st like story progression, right? So, you know, they go back and forth, and then they're like, yeah, you know, it's 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 really good to know that you know I'm gonna be the one to put a bullet in Agent 47's head, and that's when it gives you the prompt to like kick the desk at at him. And the desk goes over, revealing a shotgun. You take the shotgun and just start blowing people away. Nice. And it's like, but that's not really how Agent Forty Seven does it, because he'd be taking out all your all your other motherfuckers out, out, you know, you know, out along the way. Like, you'd be calling in your troops, and it'd be like one dude. <laughs> where's 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 Agent Two through Seven? Like. No answer. Huh. Oh yeah, here are their earpieces, by the way. Checkmate. <laughs> Type thing. So this is an elusive target. Okay. When playing the elusive target, the following rules apply. You must begin the contract before the countdown expires. If you die, you may not retry the contract. Once you completed the contract and successfully ex uh, exited, you may not retry the contract. Once you have begun to complete objectives along the way, you may not restart the contract, so plan accordingly. You cannot save your game while playing an elusive target, and the contract briefing may contain additional fail conditions, and what it doesn't say is it can also change at a moment's notice. Oh! Uh -huh. So this is... Yes. You have to be on your toes. Yes, yes. Not only do you have to plan accordingly, but you have to plan for the what-if. Here we go. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. Several facial reconstruction patients are on site. I suggest you locate them and await additional information as I receive it. You may also wish to examine hospital records to discover more. Good hunting, 47. Okay. So, like I said, this is Hokkaido. And... That is a very look, beautiful scenery. Yeah. Like, if you look down at the city, like, off the mountain and down towards the little town, yeah. you can see a lot of that town just from the window. Yeah. It is they're, a fire, they're shooting a fireworks, too. Oh, wow. They did a lot of nice rendering with this. Yeah, I mean, this is... This is all, like... You know, you can look all the way up. Yeah. All the way out. There is actually... um, Like, a, there's a cable car. Let me see if I can get to another window. Pardon me. Only the best doctors work here. Actually, 
can't really see the cable car right now. Okay, so this See? This guy might be a this guy might be one of our one of our targets. He's missing an eyeball. So how do we how do you how does Agent forty seven figure out who's who? Um Diana is in my ear. Who he she's my handler. Okay. Um, she pretty much will, you know, give me the yay or nay on, on certain people. The problem is, if it's like, say, this guy, where he's just kind of walking around doing whatever, he's getting, he's getting an ear in, mm -hmm. um, you actually have to find a place that's very seclu secluded so that you can take him out. Also, you have to make sure that he's not actually going towards the doctor that's right freaking there. Hmm. Um, so hopefully, that helicopter will be our way out. No promises. <laughs> yeah. Hammer. <laughs> I believe in the past you had attempted to use a hammer for another contract, correct? Uh, no, the hammer is just non-lethal. It just knocks. It just gives somebody a concussion. <laughs> There's no fun in that. It's not, but I mean, when life gives you lemons, you squirt life in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you can, <laughs> you can play sabotage the toilet. It's it. You know, we're in we're in Japan because you know the toilet the toilets will actually open up for you before you get to them. Okay. And they do they do that in real life too. It's the weirdest fucking thing. I've never I've never been to Japan, but I've actually seen. Like my aunt and uncle have gone there a bunch of times, and when they when they've stayed in hotels, like they just randomly open. Hmm. You're walking down, walking towards it, and it's just like plop. Nice. Good oh, thank you. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is my room. If I were to start like brand new, they only give you this. Uh. This as a starting area. Ah. And this is my room. <laughs> God bless you. <clears throat> so yeah. The cable car is there. This is another viable a viable exit that we can mm -hmm. use. Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Why is it? Well, that's Shut Jason Portman. No. Wait. You're not Helmut. Hello, sir. You stole my idea. Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find someone else to emulate. Not even going. Not even going to uh, talk to him. <laughs> uh, why not? Ah, uh, he just—he thinks I'm somebody else, Good evening. and then what'll happen is he'll actually incite a uh, a fight. Um, yeah, that gets the guards all involved and shit. And well, we're going to try and avoid that. Yeah. Yeah, I saw her at the spa earlier with an entourage of bodyguards. Yeah, I had to leave. You're kidding me. What, the Yakuza lawyer? A trial of the century? Yeah, none other. Felt like punching her lights out, too. I mean, she made a mockery of the judicial system. Shamed the entire legal profession with her trickery. Oh, I remember that vividly. So you have to walk around and attempt to listen and deduce which one's which. Yes. Uh -huh. Yep. Like, I'm kind of, like, hovering between two right now. Like, that guy has an eye. Uh, he's getting, eye, like, retinal surgery or whatever. Yeah, one who's, one who's missing an ear up here. 
Right. This guy. So how long does it take normally for them to figure out which one of these guys has been holding out on it's, chest tips? Uh, chest tips and kneecaps, really. Yeah. Um, like, this man has the world supply of chest tips and can lead us to the world supply of kneecaps, and we need this information. Well, that's why Diane is in my ear telling me, telling me who, who, who is the, the target. Okay. A doctor will escort you so then you just have to listen and wait for key information, Please like to the if it's ear or eye surgery. Uh, e ear, eye, or nose? No. Oh. I'm trying to. I'm trying to find Mr. Schnoz. Ah, uh, the Schnoz. Yeah. Um. Get well soon. Fall into the consultation room, Mr. Spade. You must be eager to see the new you. Oh, okay. Come by one. So, are you doing yoga after this? I wish. I had two lessons booked, but I just got informed that I have been bumped back in the queue. Oh, and that's, that's gotta be an error, right? Did you talk to the instructor? Well, I, that's the thing. I haven't actually seen him all day. And then I asked one of the staff members, and she checked the schedule. It turns out all of which are booked by someone called Yamazaki. Mm. <laughs> Oops. Like I said, it's been a while since I've actually uh, messed with this. Okay. So I have to, like, remember where... Oh, wait a minute. Is that Mr. Nose? We have found Mr. Nose. We have found the schnoz. Ah. We have found you can't stand him. Yes. Oh, you know, the freaky taste that goes. Let's find out where he goes, right? So you're going to follow your nose. I'm going to follow his nose. Ah. Or, well, I'm going to follow his nose and the rest of them. Okay. Watch it not be him this time. <laughs> oh, it was him in the past? It was him in the past, it was the guy with the ear in the past, and it was the guy with the, um... Oh, see? Here comes Mr. Ears. Ladies look very nice here. Is it too obvious I got a nose job? Don't offend me, or I might get angry. So ear and nose are talking to each other. Reminds me of my... Yes. What happens if you take out the wrong target? That's a great question. I've never done that because I've listened to uh, the commentary. <laughs> so, can you take out all three and just say yeet, malit? I don't think so. Because mm -hmm. you take out one and then uh, yeah, like, uh, like, the only way I can get hospital records is if I assume the doctor's, like, role, and in order to get to the doctor, I have to get him secluded, and good luck trying to do that when he's just walking around in front of the, you know, the police and everything, mm -hmm. or the, the hospital security. Is there a way to lure him? Um, I don't have anything. Okay, so Mr. Nose is around. We'll, we'll... Hello. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that when it comes. Uh, see what I can hear, you know? Hmm. I can be 
creepy. Uh. See, this is the doctor. <clears throat> the doctor actually gets like he get he can, I guess, be almost everywhere. Um. Okay, the eyeball's coming out. So it's like, hear no evil, hear no evil, speak, er, see no evil, smell nothing. <laughs> yeah, or... Smell better, I guess? I don't know. See, this guy is giving me like, oh, like <laughs> making it too easy. Because if it's him, I'll just follow him around until he comes back over here, and then be like, yeet, and goodbye. Yeet, my leap. Hitman, you need to do. You need to fix your servers. Why? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. I hope you don't lose it. No, no, no. I haven't done anything, so even if it, even if the game crashes and it, or the game cl uh, boots me back to uh, its splash screen, mm -hmm. I didn't fail, so they can't. They can't take it away from me. Oh, they can. Oh, it's so peaceful here, isn't it? Listen, as long as they don't pull dark tools. Hmm. Uh, even still, I like, look at this. Our people, director. Don't forget. All right, I'm gonna have to see if I can find. Uh, Find a way to get a staff uniform in order to get some of these uh, records. Are you... Okay, you're a doctor. God damn it. I'm not, thank you. Been with a long couple of months. Yes, yeah, a good situation. Miss Yamazaki's very smart, very capable. Tough as nails, too. You should see her in the courtroom. She seems a bit, I don't know, untimely? Like she's not comfortable in her own skin? I have received yeah, an update from the client, 47. The lift, crossing the gorge. It appears that it's the target is receiving great. autoplastic oh, yeah. surgery. Yeah, Look for a patient with bandaged ears. Bandaged around the ears. Hey, we should get her a pack. Make a good impression. All right. Your right. boy. Good evening. Yep, hi. Oh, Mr. Ears. I've got a present for you. Ah. Evening, sir.
you should take a look at the view. Or even even still, take a look at the helicopter. It's nice. It's nice. Nice shade of red. Come on. Oh, And that guy picked up a rake out of nowhere. The rake is there. So now you have to wait till the ear is is out of here, so he can't hear you, right? Well, he won't be hearing a lot of a lot of. Uh... Yeah. The only thing he's going to be hearing is him, is himself screaming. Come on. Oh, just have to back him upside the head with that hammer and just throw him over an edge somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh, is this going to be that easy? Mm. Making a phone call. It's me. The surgery is proceeding according to plan. <gasps> okay, okay, no one's looking, no one's looking, no one's looking. No one's looking. Target eliminated. The money has been wired to your account. No one's looking. Stupid snowplow work on the to do this. Nothing to see. Nothing not to a, see. Not a, you, you, you couldn't not hear nothing. You couldn't hear nothing. Ogenki Deska. But you don't even have to run. You can just walk. So you got called in on you know, if I wanted to. Yeah. Miss Yamazaki apparently wanted to double down on the security while here. Instead, I'll take the silent assassin right Oh, what's that? It's a five-star rating. Just but no, I was, I was, I was. What I was gonna do is I was gonna shove those other two guards, and just be like. <laughs> you didn't even have to. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Did you get the five star? Yes, I did. Nice. It's a rubber ducky. The rubber ducky is the accident one. Ah. How do you kill somebody with an accidental rubber ducky? Uh, you place an explosive rubber ducky on the ground and then you explode it. Oh, he had to stash the theater restroom. Operating theater restroom. Nice. Okay, well that was... That was elusive target number 15. Uh, the fugitive. Um, I can honestly say the surgery was a complete and utter failure. Uh, all they found on the rock below was his ears. <laughs> um, I'm going to end the stream here, but I'm going to flip over and do the ra the Wrath Termination uh, for the Wrath DLC. And I will restart the stream, so y'all come on back. If you like the video, since this is going to be going up on YouTube, both both of it's going to go up on YouTube. Um, drop a like, drop a dislike. Any feedback's good feedback. Tell me what I can change. Tell me what I did that you liked. Tell me what I, you didn't like. Feedback. Don't just sit there and say I suck because you're not worth my time. You know, tell me what sucks. That's all I'm asking. If it's the elusive target, this is the, you know, the third time that the fugitive has been added as an elusive target. And I agree. 
This is not everybody's favorite elusive target. However, I'm not the developer. Tell them it sucks, not me. But yeah, my name's Corrupted2108. It's been a pleasure streaming, and I'll see you all in the next one.